Hello interwebs, this is Navic209 from YouTube coming to you today to talk about the latest robot, PiBotnix B. It's a Raspberry Pi controlled Wi-Fi roving robot. We set up a little arena here so you can navigate around using the LiveBots website. The link's included below in the description. There's also an RFID game you can play with the robot, which is kind of unique. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the details of the bottom self, the arena it lives in, and the game you can play with them. So hopefully you'll enjoy this one. The PlayStation Eye USB web camera is the main component for providing the imagery to the system on a pan servo so you can look left and right. The battery pack located here is to powers all the servo motors including the two ones for the wheels as well as the RFID rear located in the front. The rear battery pack you're seeing here provides a 5 volt USB power to the Raspberry Pi itself. On top of the Raspberry Pi is located an actual breadboard with a simple logic level converter from SparkFun to provide the 5 volt serial signal from the RFID tag system into the 3.3 volt signal to the Raspberry Pi UART. Also included in that the GPIO breakout for the further pins including the servo pins is provided by Adafruit and the cobbler set. It's a really nice setup, definitely recommend checking it out. The Wi-Fi is USB Wi-Fi EDMAX EW7811UN specifically for the Raspbian OS distribution that we're running on the SD card for PyBotnix. RFID key fobs you'll be seeing in the arena. Some of them are hidden, but the ones that aren't hidden will look like this. So go ahead and check those out and roll up on them for points. Another aerial view of the breadboard itself. The wiring is very simple besides the two servos. All you're looking at is the logic level converter for the serial connection. This video on the bottom right is a simulation of the rover actually moving. On the main screen to the left there, you'll see the LiveBots website interface where you can actually click the buttons and see the rover move or look in left and right direction. Right here we're looking forward. We're going to come up on that white RFID tag on the box. So the navigation buttons, and you can see the time that it takes to click in the actual video output will be lagging a bit because it does take a lot of time and just the Raspberry Pi processing the video. It's going to take a little while. What we're going to do is we're going to come up on this RFID tag so we can get our points. Below the look buttons, you'll see this sentence, you have not found any points yet. Once we get close enough to the tag and go ahead and nose right into it so that the reader can get to it, you'll see it says you found 150 points. Well, that was PyBotnix. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll be seeing you next time.